Hello everyone, Sierra Game Scott here, as you can probably tell from the music and from the message in the notepad um, window on the screen, and also from the title of this video. This is a Christmas-oriented message. My apologies to those who cannot stand um, anything Christmas-oriented until at least after the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, however, I did want to get this up, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit more uh, about the timing for a reason. I uh, turned the music down a little bit. Um, as you probably know, if you're a subscriber, I'm nearly at 200 right now, um, uh, that I, in my last video, entitled the video, The End? Question mark, And it was pretty much my retirement video, noting that I would m most likely not be making any more LPs. I did put the question mark there just to uh, give me a little bit of an opening to return from retirement if I were so inclined. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit more later on. I do have a Christmas present for you, and in fact the whole video hopefully is a quasi-Christmas present, at least as much as an anonymous or quasi-anonymous uh, YouTube video producer can provide to you um, via the internet. And the reason I um, half the video is going to be dedicated to giving you a little bit of direction where you can find some LPs, and the second half is going to be my more direct present to you. So uh, without further ado, let's get into some of the content of what I have for you in this video. Um, the reason why I have this first part is uh, one thing I've noticed is that there really aren't a lot of new Sierra or adventure game LPs coming online these days, uh, at least on YouTube, at least uh, amongst the people I typically followed, the big people I, th I think in the Sierra LP community. Uh, Late Blade, who was one of the big guys, uh, moved to Russia and seems to have ceased at least uh, the videos on the LP front. Um, her, her crabbiness also, I think, had some technical issues and got busy with a few things and has so moved away from, at least recently, updating any LPs. I don't have any special insight into these people or into anyone else, so I don't know if they plan to come back, if it's all over, um, I can't speak for them. I'm just stating uh, what I noticed, and certainly myself included, not that I'm in the same league, but um, just that I haven't been able to produce any videos recently, as my last video indicated. I probably wasn't planning on doing so, um, uh, for the most part, at all, and then some of the other LPers that I know who have done things in the past really haven't been around. So I am um, going to see if I can direct you, though, to some LPs that are out there that you, um, as uh, people who primarily, I think, look at you, look towards YouTube for your LPs, um, uh, some resources that maybe you haven't thought of before. There's a site out there called That Guy with the Glasses, and um, I'll try to put some of the, the links in my description box underneath the video, but um, I'm just going to write out some things you can Google or look up on the um, otherwise on the internet um, that uh, that will help direct you to where to find things without giving you direct links, so I don't have to copy and paste and uh, anything like that or write out full <laughs> pardon me uh, write out full URLs. Um, that guy with the glasses. Some of you may be familiar. Don't want to give you too much background, but essentially it's sort of a variety of site of people who review video games movies, television shows, all sorts of things, and uh, the primary guy is, um, who's the guy with the glasses is Doug Walker, he does something called a Nostalgia Critic, uh, so occasionally amusing things, um, some of the stuff on the site I, I think are okay, some of it, uh, at least a little bit overboard perhaps with some of the language and things like that in my opinion, but um, some interesting things that you might enjoy if you haven't been to the site beforehand, his Nostalgia Critic videos are pretty much the the mainstay of the site, pretty much it's a weekly video where he mocks something kind of nostalgic from his and even my childhood um, from the 80s and 90s if you're in your late 20s, early 30s, maybe even mid 20s to mid 30s, um, uh, things that you may remember from your childhood. Uh, mostly it seems to be actually bashing just kind of mediocre movies from the 90s these days, but um, anyway, his, but he's done things like a review Full House and um, some of the cartoons we grew up with, like Sonic the Hedgehog. And, uh, however, I'm not really going to talk about that, it's not really relevant to LPing, but there are actually some people on, on the site who are into Sierra games, and have actually done a lot with Sierra games that might be of interest to you. Uh, the main guy is a guy who goes by the name of, um, uh, Paw, I think his full name is Paw Dugan, but, uh, his, his name on, or at least his name, full title, I, I guess, I don't know if I assume Paw is probably not his real first name, but I believe his last name is Dugan, um, but uh, he goes by Paw on the website. Anyway, he is actually a, a big fan of CR games, of adventure games. He has a whole series, uh, so if you go to that site, or Google that guy with the glasses, go to the site, or you want to do Google Paw himself, and King's Quest, 
Um, and there should be on the drop down menus a uh, way to get to his to his page. I'll, like I said, I'll try to get to um, uh, get some hyperlinks in the description. But um, he does a, he has a whole series where he actually reviews every single game one through eight of King's Quest, which is actually pretty interesting, pretty um, pretty cool. I think I knew a lot of the things just because I've been into Sierra games so much. But uh, for those of you who don't, might might pick up a few things. And even if you do know, it's just kind of interesting to see somebody else's perspective on it, somebody else's take. Um, and he actually has a little book that's dedicated to, I guess, the storyline for King's Quest, maybe the expanded universe of King's Quest, which is interesting. I think he's even going to do another video just uh, summarizing everything, the whole legacy of King's Quest, which should be interesting. However, um, in addition to that, he's actually um, uh, done some LPs of uh, entire remakes of Sierra games. He actually does have a King's Quest V, the original, um, up, which I watched a long time ago, so if you're you want to watch that? That's up there. He also does um, King's Quest Three and King's Quest, uh, King's Quest Two and King's Quest Three, uh, the remakes of those games. And um, he did a, a full, he did actually a live LP of each. So he did the whole games through, and uh, that, that's pretty interesting. So if you have not, uh, so if you are itching for some a uh, lot of number of hours of LPing, uh, he has a lot. He, if you start with the King's Quest Five one, he has that. And then he also had does um, the live, quote unquote live, now it's taped of course, of uh, 2 and 3 of the remakes, which are um, VGA versions of the old EGA games, and they've also fleshed out um, a, lot, a lot of um, the storyline. Um, you can actually play the games yourself, I think it's Adventure Game Studios, um, if I recall correctly, AGS I think, for sure, Adventure Game Studios, um, and Infamous Adventures, in Infamous... Adventures. Uh, maybe I should have done a little bit more research before creating the videos, but I'm pretty 99% sure. Um, but uh, if you just Google those, or if you Google King Plus 2, 3, and there's actually a King Plus 1 remake, there's also a Quest for Glory 2 remake, and um, that's all one company. They're not doing any more remakes. There will not be a King's Quest 4 remake, even though they kind of created a new storyline, so it's unfortunate I won't finish that. But you can actually play in Sierra games again and play with a little bit of a different twist to it. Uh, all very good um, uh, versions, so uh, I would definitely encourage you to check that out. There's also, um, I believe that's Adventure Game Studios who did that. Um, the Infamous Adventurers did a different King's Quest 3 remake. I don't know if they fleshed things out as much. I think I actually played that one and not the other remake. Um, but I'm not 100% sure, um, and so, but yeah, so there pl should be plenty of games to keep you occupied if you want to actually play it yourself, especially um, the new versions, um, instead of just watching LPs, but PAW does actually take 2 and 3 from Adventure Game Studios and LPs those live, and that is about 6 hours each, so that should be a ton of, um, ton of LP videos for those of you who are itching for a little bit more uh, along those lines. Um, he also did do an LP of the Nintendo version of King's Quest V, which I couldn't sit through. It was just uh, the graphics are so bad. I've seen the game LP'd before. Uh, but if you want to, you can try it. Um, he, he does do the LP of that. If you go to Venus, um, uh, dot com, I think, or just Google Venus, you can actually, there's an emulator online, which I believe is entirely legal. Um, they don't have any advertisements and you have to play it online. So I think that's what keeps it legal, and you can actually play King's Quest V on the Nintendo Entertainment System yourself, which is pretty poor, I might, must say. But uh, And he also did the Sega Master version, which is even more humorous, or at least humorous as well. Um, if you want to, so if you can sit through those, you could watch the LPs of those on the 8-bit uh, uh, gaming consoles. And um, another thing uh, is that Infamous Adventures is coming out with Space Quest 2 at some point, a remake. So that should be interesting um, for for those of you looking for games to play. The last thing I want to say is there was actually a couple... They did Space Quest Paw and a few other people did Space Quest 2 and 3, uh, another live LP a long time ago. Um, and it should be on this guy's name, Lord Cat, on his site. You may have to search around there. Like I said, uh, I'll see if I can dig up some links for you guys to make it easier. But... Um, you can do a little detective work and you really want to watch some LPs, you can see that as well. So two and three, and these guys all do a really great job. They're kind of, they're, I mean, certainly I don't know if it's a full-time job, they're still amateurs, but do a better job than some someone like me just um, using Cam Studio and uh, writing the game in there. And uh, a little bit better uh, commentary and, and the, some of them, they actually have group commentaries, which is kind of funny, uh, playing off each other. But they did a while ago, two and three, 
uh, Space Quest 2 and 3. And those were some good, uh, some pretty good videos. Well, another several hours of you, um, f pardon me, for you LP aficionados that if uh, you are running dry because of the people on YouTube um, shutting down operations or curtailing operations, uh, there's a lot out there, uh, hopefully through these sites that you can enjoy. And um, uh, hopefully it didn't take up too much of your time, hopefully uh, some of that's helpful and interesting, and uh, hopefully I won't you to take too much detective work to uncover those, but if you want some quality LPs of a bunch of games, and even some retrospectives of Sierra games, uh, definitely check those out, and of course on those sites there's other things as well that you may enjoy, but uh, hopefully that helped you a little bit um, get your fix for CR games if um, you have not been able to check out some of the other channels or have watched all the videos on the other channels on YouTube and on my channel. Um, however, let, that brings me to my part. Sorry for that. That's just my uh, webcam thing that came, comes down when you go too high up on a certain spot on the screen. Uh, so what is my specific Christmas present for you? Well, my specific Christmas present for you, if I can move the text box out of the way, is, uh, as you can see, um, Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator. This is actually... Uh, case one, I believe it is. I'm drawing a blank. Um, it's the, the Bigfoot character. I can't remember exactly the subtitle of the game, but we will find that out when I, in fact, um, decide to LP um, Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator, the first adventure. Uh, to give you some background so I don't have to do it when I actually LP the game, um, I will probably start this week during the Thanksgiving break recording it. It's a pretty short game. I'll put up in chunks leading up to Christmas. And I might, I think I'm intending to make Christmas Eve the night I uploaded the last video. So uh, that could be a little final Christmas present for you for um, maybe before you have an, all the joys of Christmas the day before or late at night you can watch uh, one final LP which might be um, something fun to do on Christmas um, hopefully. Um, I don't want to flatter myself too much but uh, hopefully uh, uh, for those of you who are fans might enjoy that. As a as a little, uh, Christmas gift, a little uh, boost to, uh, to to start of a, what I'm sure is a great holiday for everyone. And I, um, I the reason I've chose this particular game to LP is um, like I said, I'm a pretty big fan of her Crabbiness's channel. She has been going through th uh, Ben Jordan three through six so far, and um, she is probably going to go on the seventh game. The reason she started with Ben Jordan, uh, which uh, I should guess it gives you a little bit of background, Ben Jordan is an independent made game uh, in sort of the LucasArts Sierra game style of adventure games. Uh, it's for free. You can actually play all these games. Uh, once again, just Google Ben Jordan, I guess. Uh, and you can, there's seven games released right now. I'm going to do the first one. Her crabbiness started with the third one because the storyline for the game really begins in uh, Chapter 3 or Case 3. Where it, that builds on each other, leading up to what's going to be the eighth game, which has not been released yet, actually. Um, so there's actually a real story arc to those games. The first two games don't really contribute that much, at least as far as we know, to the story arc. I don't know if um, he, uh, he, the author had it in mind when he first made them. Uh, and we are going to play um, the first one because I don't think her crabbiness would actually do this one. I wouldn't want to step on her territory. She does uh, these games, of course, a lot better than I, than I can. Um, so it would also be foolish to compete against her, but um, I, I certainly I'd defer to her. I'm pretty sure she would go. she's going to go into the seventh game, hopefully. I'm looking forward to it at some point, and so I would not uh, continue in that direction, but I figured I'd do one of the games that she has not handled yet. I believe there are some other LPs of the early games on YouTube, but um, certainly uh, there's room for a few more. And so I'm going to um, play the first one. For those reasons, and the reason I selected this game versus a Sierra game per se is I just didn't feel motivated to do any other ones. And Ben Jordan is fairly short. I am not coming out of retirement, as far as I uh, uh, as I believe at this point. Um, I probably won't even do the second version of Ben Jordan. We'll see how things turn out, but I uh, don't don't necessarily plan on that. I'm not really. I still have plenty of other projects that I have to do. Um, I work on as well um, as having a full time job, which um, keeps me busy. Uh, so, I, I, like I said in my last video, at the end, I, I've still, it's not something I can really uh, plan on, something I really plan on focusing on like I did beforehand, particularly when I was unemployed. Um, but I'm open to doing things, um, and I, I think, especially around the holidays, I think it's a good time, it's something I, I would enjoy doing. Hopefully you'd enjoy doing, and, and being a short, particularly short game, I think it works well um, based upon my time constraints, and based upon just uh, doing a little bit of a time um, over maybe four weeks. 
and probably just going to be probably will just be a four um, video series if, if that maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less um, but I'm going to try to spread out between Thanksgiving to Christmas and we will um, we'll get into that so uh, I don't want to take up too much time or make this video too long I know I've gone on for a while uh, but at least for the uh, I will be back at least briefly and um, I guess I will see you again when we play uh, let's play Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator, Case 1, Case of the Skunk Ape. It's the Skunk Ape, that's right. Uh, so Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator, Case 1, Case of the Skunk Ape, uh, will be LP'd by CR Games Scott, I believe, hopefully starting next week. I will do everything I can to try to actually get through this game and to um, make sure we can get at least this one last LP or one more LP up. And I hope uh, everybody's able to join me. And um, have a good Thanksgiving if I don't upload this before then, which I probably will not. And um, we will see you in the next Sierra Games Scott LP. That's all for now. Take care.